If you are familiar with the work of Hirokazu Koreeda, you understand that a Koreeda close-up can be a rare and momentous occasion. His 2004 film, Still Walking, revolves around the Yokoyama family's annual reunion on the death anniversary of Junpei, the oldest son, who dies while saving another boy from drowning many years ago. Koreeda regularly frames wide shots of the Yokoyama family around tables and counters, and lets his cast take control of scenes of mundane family banter and quiet revelations. White shots like these are allowed to run in long takes and Koreeda rarely cuts in closer than a medium shot when framing characters in singles. However, like all filmmakers, Koreeda knows that the close-up is a powerful tool to clue the viewer into the inner emotional landscapes of a film's characters. I heard your dad's picking you up. Yep. You excited? Whatever. <laughs> but then again, Koreeda is not like all filmmakers. In this key scene, Toshiko reveals to her son, Ryota, her motivations for inviting Yoshio, the boy Junpei saved on the day he drowned, to every anniversary of Junpei's death. The scene follows a fairly standard shot-reverse-shot cutting pattern that alternates between both speaking characters. Here, Ryota asks his mother to stop inviting Yoshio to future death memorials for Junpei. When we cut back to Toshiko, who finally reveals her motivations for inviting Yoshio to such an awkward and uncomfortable gathering year after year, rather than cutting into a frontal close-up that would have allowed us to see the nuances of Kirin Kiki's expressive face, we cut to this profile close-up instead, and are denied a closer look into how Toshiko feels about her actions. We want to see and to know, but cannot. Following this intimate reveal of previously unspoken motivations, we cut back to the reverse shot of Ryota, who criticizes his mother's actions, and then, when we cut back to Toshiko again, we get a medium close-up of the back of her head as she mutters a comment at Ryota's expense. This is a much subtler reveal of Toshiko's quiet condescension toward her son that we gain little character access to, aside from the tone of Toshiko's voice. Thus, the shot progression of this scene on Toshiko's single is from a medium shot, to a profile close-up, to this unconventional medium close-up from behind. This steady denial of frontality during a significant emotional and narrative reveal serves to both distance the viewer and yet, I believe, engaging them even more deeply in the lives of these characters. As an audience, we are drawn in by what is being said, but in the denial of emotional access through facial expressions, we yearn to understand these characters even more. In essence, Koreeda understands the inherent irony behind the human capacity to empathize. We will never fully comprehend or understand each other. Koreeda shows in this short scene that a simple conversation can be charged with ambiguity and complexity, with just minor variations on conventional film form, and that sometimes the simplest way can also be the best way. <laughs>